Hello and welcome to this SOLIDWORKS blog. My name is Adam Holmes and I'm an Applications Engineer at Solid Applications. In this SOLIDWORKS blog I'm going to show you how to add a custom thread profile to the configurations for either a, a die or a tap. So the first step we want to find out where our thread profiles are located. So to do this go to Options, File Locations, and on the drop down, go down and find thread profiles. And it is this folder we need to locate so that we can open up the correct library feature to edit to edit or add our own uh, configuration and take note of this. So I'm now going to open that up. So it's already found it for me because I've previously been looking for it. And I want to add an M42 by 1.5 die. And I want to go metric. So this is the metric die file. So if I double click on that, and it will open up. And this is the profile of the cut, which was cut into the bar or shaft. And these are all the configuration sizes at the moment, which are the standard. And I want to add an M42 by 1.5 and as you can see there's only an M42 by 3 M42 by 4.5 then I want to add my own to this list so if I go back up to the top right click on the metric die add a configuration I'll type in the name of my configuration which is M42 by 1.5 I'll copy this to the description as well and then down here document name I'll just change that to configuration name so this is what the configuration will be listed as in the configuration list and I'll green tick that to con create the configuration as you can see at the bottom it's created it so the next step now is to edit the uh, the library feature, the library sketch. So if I edit sketch, uh, this bit is completely up to you where you want to get your information from. You can call up your your uh, local bolt or nut company to to get the profile uh, to the specific design of or of cut you want. Um, I know mine. I know the dimensions for mine, so I'll just put these in. There we go, we've got all our measurements in. There are formulas or ratios which you can apply. But in this instance, I'm happy with all these measurements for my uh, M42 by 1.5 mil thread. So now I'm just going to exit the sketch, I'll save that, and close this down. So now that's saved my uh, my custom thread to that configuration, and I want to test that it works, so I'm just going to create a new part. I'll simply draw a 42mm shaft. and apply the thread. Metric die is the one we edited and the size 1.5 which it's already gone to. And as you can see it's added it to the list here. And then we can green tick that and there you go. You've got your custom thread added to your bar and it's exactly the, s the same for a tap as well and for the other uh, units of measure in inches. Uh, I hope this video has been of some help. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.